So we're going to get into the crawl space through the end, which you can do by removing the cockpit here. Ah. Oops. Fire damage. I just set that piece of litter on fire. There you go. You see how easily these things can happen? You get careless. I was just nearly killed by a crisp packet. <laughs> How was work today, honey? Oh, good, you know, good, good. Nearly died. Why, what happened? Oh, it's like deadly reactor malfunction. Nothing we could do. You sure? You sure it wasn't just like a bag of crisps? Welcome to Night's Arcade, I'm Sleepless Night. We are in Hard Space Shipbreaker once again. Now, if you've been following this series, you will know that during the last, at the end of the last video I made, we went up to our Class 5, our Rank 5 certification, meaning we could do bigger ships. However, if you're following it very closely indeed, you'll notice that the number at the top there of my debt which is 991 million blah 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 is slightly lower than it was the last time we were in here and I now have three complete work order objectives for my quota okay which I didn't have before that is because I came in here before um, I did try to record one of these but I forgot to set my audio running for my mic now I record this in Nvidia Shadow Play and my audio is picked up, but through NVIDIA Shadow Play, when I'm running this game, and I'm running it through my pre-processor, uh, and a whole bunch of stuff that I do for my voiceover work, NVIDIA Shadow Play doesn't like that very much. Uh, and so quite often, I get really, really distorted audio. Otherwise, I wouldn't need to activate uh, another audio program to record my mic in the background, but I do, because it usually is unusable. Uh, consequently, I did a job, sort of half of it, really, um, and that's why we've gone up a little bit more than we were the last time. So, yeah, so I've done a job since then. I didn't do a very good job of it either, but, um, yeah, the audio was not great. Uh, it's only about halfway through that I realised I hadn't set Audacity running, so I kind of rushed through the rest of it to turn it off and start again because I didn't want to get, like, too far ahead. But that's why I made a colossal boo-boo. Um, I just, that's not that that's unusual for me, but you know, it's because I did that. Um, we're now not exactly where we were when we left off, but we shall continue from this point. So, what have we got in here? The Royal Roberts, heavy cargo mackerel, medium, that's what we did last time. The, by the way, just because you see a thing that says heavy cargo mackerel, medium, right, grade three, which is what we did in the last video, doesn't mean that that ship will be the same. The contents of it almost certainly won't be the same. Uh, it may have different nacelles or more of them, like the one in the image there has like three on each side. Um, the one we did yesterday, I think, I think it only had two. I'm not entirely sure, but my point is they're quite often different. Just because they're given the same description doesn't mean it'll be the same ship. Um, that's a station hopper, right, so we've done, so let's do the medium station hopper then, because last time we did the medium cargo, now let's do the medium station hopper. I'm kind of curious about these, oh that's a hard heavy cut, wow, okay, so we've got a few to get through here. The problem is, the next time I look at the ship catalogue after doing this medium one, the ships won't necessarily be the same. Uh, these aren't the same ones that were on when I looked before. I mean, yes, I came in here accidentally once, but they're, they're always slightly different. Once we've done a ship and picked it, it repopulates the ship catalogue with different ships, so we might not have these next time, but we'll see. We're going to do this one, because I'm trying to grow up. Because we've got to stay... Because we have to stay for quite a while, usually more than two episodes before between certification levels, I try to add a little bit of variety... Otherwise, I've just got to skip like a whole bunch. So I try to add a little bit of variety as much as I can within that. So even though we did uh, medium level mackerel last time, the one we did was a heavy cargo. And this is um, 
I think it's a lighter one. It's a Mark III anyway, but this is a station hopper, so it's got seats in, but it's harder than the ones we've done before. Then we can progress to sort of harder ones, and by that point, we should be ready to go up to level six, which will unlock grade four ships for us to cut. So let's do this one today. And hope that we can get it done in two ships, but I don't know what I'm going to find. You know, these ships are very different, so at the moment, at this stage in the game, literally, game, um, I don't, you know, in the early access whole section here. Oh, I hate these, because that goes to a different place than the, right, okay. Uh, yeah, at this stage, I never really know what we're going to find, so let's have a look. Okay, there's no... I don't think any fuel lines that we can rupture. No, it's just a bunch of seats and the fuel canisters at the back, which I don't think we've got fuel in them. We'll see. We shall see. There's a panel there, so we'll try and find the utility key once we get inside. But, you know, I've already wasted like a minute of this shift. Wow, that minute could come in handy later on. Airlock pressure levels dropping. There you go, helmet lady. It's always good to hear your robot-y voice. Airlock pressure levels increasing. That's so much nicer than GLaDOS. Okay, litter, first aid. Oh, got some O2. Oh, that's cool. Right, let's flush it. Flush it! Air pressure level decreasing. And do this, then. Because pressure levels there we go. Sometimes I forget, and then of course we've got a compressed area in there. Oh, we've got a data drive here. Data drive. Um, I don't see a utility key, but we're not on the object mode, so I won't. Okay, I didn't see if that was in. Maybe that was in the cockpit. No, I don't think so. Sometimes, if there's no, there isn't always a utility key, I think there's usually one somewhere, but sometimes it's even in the crawl spaces, so. I did not even check to see if the nacelles are like internal or external cut, I didn't see. But we'll find that out in a bit, not to worry. Let's use the stinger, because I don't want to cut through the seats or set them on fire, although there's no atmosphere in here now, so. Kind of difficult to set anything on fire with no oxygen. Oh, wait. I don't like this going in this little tiny squeezy space because sometimes I get stuck. It's one of those wee little glitches that this game has at this stage. Wee! Okay, I think that's the last one. I don't think there's one down there, is there? Nope. Okay, right, so we, we haven't got any cargo to sort of get rid of, so that's good. Alright. No cargo. Whoosh. Send you to that one. There we go. Didn't make that one come out far enough, did I? There we go. Off you go, buddy. Are these external cut? They are, aren't they? Uh, yes. Uh, internal cut. Sorry, is what I meant to say there. I didn't get. I didn't get the stinger out intentionally there. I was actually. Bing. Not the first time I've done that either. Like a wee little space Valuable frisbee. Yes, you are welcome. As always, helmet lady. Come on. Let's get rid of this soft crate. Boom. Salvage deposit accepted. Lots of litter. There's the two. There's a repair kit. 
Good to have O2 in there. That's nice. Although now I've come out with any thrust of, without any thrust of fuel. Oh, side mounted reactor. That's evil. With a cargo crate in here as well. Oh, man. Wow, that's... That is a pain. Also means I've got to get into the crawl space through the cockpit, which is a pain. All right, let's get the let's get the roof off and get rid of these seats and things first. So <clears throat> you notice those last ones that we've done have had the really easy crawl space access where the the hard crate there and the reactor are. That's been nice and easy. Well, now we're going up in the world. So we're getting to do the stuff that's not quite so easy. I mean, this still isn't the really tough stuff, because, you know, we haven't got any... I don't think there's even any fuel lines to flush on this one. I'm not sure. But we'll see when we get... I'll go to the end and see, but... But, you know, this is by no means complex yet. <laughs> by no means. I hate this, because that isn't actually, like, that whole thing is not nanocarbon. So I'm going to get a thing there saying, oh, I've let that some of that go that should have gone in the furnace, like aluminium scrap, I think. It's probably going to say. Because you see that panel on the top there wasn't... Yeah, there you go. See? Please Destroyed. No, I don't need to revisit my training. I knew it was going to happen. I'm not a careless employee. Just to... Oh, there we go. I'm not a careless employee, just one that's a bit of a dig. <laughs> Maybe I should have said not a useless employee, just a careless one. Just to don't much care. Okay. Put these into the middle in a pile if we can. Oh, that's bounced off all over the place. Sometimes this isn't the greatest plan in the world, doing it this way. It does work if you manage to pull them all out right, but sometimes you just don't. And then you get one of those like that, you see. Oxygen reserves are low. Where's that other seat gone? Yeah, see, sometimes what I was doing there, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. And when it doesn't work, it's not necessarily, like, because, woo, um, <clears throat> it's not necessarily because you've done something right, which you didn't do last time, it's just, there you go. Oh dear, see? Oxygen reserves are critical. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Woo! Nope. There we go. Call that off the side. Oh no, it got it. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Oxygen Whee! Level stabilizing. There we go. Right. Now, when you haven't got a utility key, you can buy one. But we don't want to do that if we can avoid it. So we're going to get into the crawl space through the end, which you can do by removing the cockpit here. Ah. Oops. Fire damage. I just set that piece of litter on fire. There you go. You see how easily these things can happen? You get careless. I was just nearly killed by a crisp packet. <laughs> How was work today, honey? Oh, good, you know, good, good. Nearly died. Why, what happened? Oh, it's like deadly reactor malfunction. Nothing we could do. You sure? You sure it wasn't just like a bag of crisps that you like totally 
trying to burn through with your laser. <laughs> I am the king of embarrassing deaths. In case you didn't know, you haven't been watching my playthroughs enough. I never die in heroic ways. Funny ways? Sure. If you want a guy who dies in funny ways, you come to the right place. Carter, there's five minutes remaining in this shift. Get in while the getting's good. We All right, here. Weaver. No problem, buddy. Thanks. Right, I'm not going to use the split saw. Because there's a coolant tank there. And I think... Nearly being killed by a crisp packet. Bad enough for one day. Crisps. That's chips for you, uh, for you American folk. Right, now we can use this. That's all. Go through both those at the same time. And both of those at the same time. Wow. Get out of its way. Uh, the reason I'm going into the side there is to try and pull it off straight so it doesn't clatter that. I do not want it to clatter that coolant tank if I can avoid it. There we go. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. I think we lost quite a few of those seats to outer space, but you know. We're not too worried about that. So here you can get around the crawl space. The one above the airlock is a little bit more difficult, but you can you can get to it. It's not it's not impossible. You can just squeeze through the little hole there. You'll see. In a moment, you'll see. Probably shouldn't cut too many of these away. I can cut this one off, I think. There we go. But I don't want to cut any more of these till I get to the shut off the cut off valve there. Do you not always need a utility key? But just to avoid, like, fuel leaks when you remove the thruster and stuff, it's probably a good idea. Wherever possible. Woo! But, oh. Okay, that's because I haven't cut the roof off. No, I've got the room. What? Okay, I don't know what's... Maybe it's just because it's too big and heavy because it's got this unwieldy goddamn thing on it. We'll see. Might be missing something important. Nope, there we go. It is free. It's free! Oh, this is a bit of a pain. Pull that panel off because then I can get the tether. Object to go where it needs to. Or ding itself in. Reminder, asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage quotas. Yeah. You can just say you love me, helmet lady. You don't need to, like, push me over in the playground. She loves me. Oxygen level stabilizing. She's just totally just pretending that she does not care about me at all. Can anybody see a utility key? No? Okay, let's go and flush the fuel on the other side. But bear in mind, like, this is for the nacelles too, so... Let's not... I'm going in here with a minute, so let's not do that. I'm going in there with a minute to spare, that's kind of stupid. Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it, we'll sort it. Okay, so let's. All right, Cutter, wrap it up. You got about a minute left. About a minute left. This is where I realise I've forgotten something terribly important. I'm quite surprised we haven't had one with more nacelles yet. I suppose we will do when we get to the hard ones, and they're the ones with the active fuel lines and stuff. So that can be kind of tricky. Did I? Cut. I did cut through that now, right? Yes. Let's get this power pack off. 
before we go in. There we go. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Whee! There we go. Back home for the day. Don't think we'll have made a ton of money there. Nope, not even a million. Food pack destroyed. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Almost killed by a food pack. Not great. Not great. Equipment mount. Destroyed. Don't know what that I think. That was just the rack on one of the floors or something. Light seat to destroyed. Yeah, that's one of the ones that I lost there. Yeah, that wasn't a good day's work. Oh, dear. We've lost it, man. You used to be beautiful, man. Right, let's go in. See what we can do. <clears throat> Comms and data. I uh, got any more of these? No. We just picked that one up. Did we, was that actually in there? Couldn't remember. Pew! Wow, we got a lot of links tokens. What? Who did we just get all those for? Okay. That's not what we just picked up. There. Flanagan, Buck, research assistant. Rail get. Ooh, pretty. Um, not. So I don't know what that was supposed to be, really. Something. Something wasn't right there. That's a schematic breakdown of something. Doesn't it look that they've got to sort that out because when you go back out of the thing that you were looking at, it goes straight back out to the main menu. That's a pain, right? Okay, uh, oh, laser cutter needs a repair. That's not in great nick. We can upgrade a bunch of stuff here. What should we do? What should we do? What should I tell you what we'll do first because this is important. Let's get the scanner up the scan so that we can scan systems. That is going to be handy when we go onto the bigger ships. Very handy indeed. Uh, that's got another helmet upgrade we've got there. Uh, that's the audio resynth and the suit integrity. Shock absorbing joints. Increase the force of impact. We're not having a great deal of um, trouble with that so far. Have a look at the upgrades on this. Grapple strength and tether lifetime. Grapple strength is a handy one. What about... Uh, modular cutter cooldown. That's handy. And... Let's, let's sort the grapple strength out. While we're at it. Charged push. Ooh! Allow us to blast things a lot further away. Isn't that lovely? Increases maximum force. Thruster, speed. I can actually get that. I mean, it does allow you to get around a bit faster, but, you know, also, it means you kind of do sometimes have a tendency to overshoot. <laughs> so, let's <laughs> just not get carried away with our super new... Th oh, we, got, we need thruster fuel. We're not going to be going very fast at all without that. I am not buying a utility key. It's just not a chance. But that is going to create some issues. As you will see. Right, let's go in here first. Whoa! Yeah, see? Going a lot faster. A lot faster, but I have a tendency to overshoot stuff now. Whee! Okay, okay, hold still. Huh. Missed the damn thing anyway. Oh no, don't do that. Whoosh. There we go. Okay, and of course there's one behind there. I can flush this fuel. Whee! Without a key. 
So that's cool. Right. Let's get out. Try and pull that. Pa oh, crap. God damn it. I knew I'd forget something. Forgot to cut away the nacelle. Stupid boy. It's like a minute of lost time there. Maybe not a minute, 30 seconds ish. But enough, anyway. Alright, there we go. That should be free now. Woo! I hope. Not always the case. Sometimes you find some surprise somewhere that you've like missed. Nope, that one's okay. All right, we're good. We are good. Well, you know, we're all right, I guess. Right, this is a bit of a pain. There we go. See how straight that'll pull that off. Oh, 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 it clattered it a bit. Ah, yikes. Okay. Okay. Whee! All right. All right, let's pull these fuel tanks out. Ugh. <laughs> go don't clatter it on the the bottom there processing valuable objects credit awarded oh i keep forgetting i can remove these switches as well oh which apparently i can't on there i you can cut them away this whole switch but you know what for because that goes to the processor and the switch goes to the barge it's just pointless. Like, don't even bother. Don't even bother, innit? How many tethers we got? Oh, we got loads. Okay. Right, let's do the same on the other side. This reactor is going to be a pain, so let's try to remember that. I don't clatter it too much, mate. Valuable object process. There we go. Deposited. Cut that free, why don't you, mate? God sake. We can do that now. Whoosh. Off you go, buddy. Right. This is where it all gets a bit tricky. So first of all, get a lot closer. I know that's not, I know that's not the floor, it's the, the aft section, but... Uh, they need to finish this, <coughs> to fix this, <coughs> I think, this clipping, because the thing is, <coughs> in this game, it isn't just clipping. Because of this is where this is what happened with that crisp packet earlier on. That's where your um, that's where your laser beam comes through for your cutter. Your cutter beam comes through there. You know, which is not a lot of fun, really. Hey, wait, what's that? Salvage secured. Account credit applied. It's nothing. Okay, you go. All right, this is going to be a bit of a nightmare. Let's pull off that thing first. Don't smack into the reactor. That's that's no good. Get this roof off. I am not going to risk anything with it. I want to be like above it if possible. See, look. This is what I'm talking about with the clipping, you see. It's not a big issue at the moment, but it will be. 
Right. So this is why I wanted the roof off, because now we've got to take this off. But I don't really... I haven't really got... Like, well, I could just tether it, but it won't come out as easily. Well, that should make it all the way... There we go. Okay. That went... That went better than I expected. And it, you like, that could have gone a lot worse. Honestly. Right, let's see what we can retrieve from this without... I'm getting too crazy. I mean, we should be able to get most of it, I think, but... It's important that we make as much of that money back that because we didn't do well yes on yesterday's shift that wasn't great so salvage deposit accepted credits transferred oh don't clatter these computer terminals against the side I always bang one against the side and lose some health off it salvage secured credits deposited ah there we go that one's wrecked that's destroyed Whee, look at that spiralling down there. Look, and it's fried all of that. You see, once again, somebody tell me where that power is coming from. Somebody tell me why. Where is it getting the power from? That one's not fried, but the last two were. I mean, why is that shocking all over the place? That's just ridiculous. That's just a cargo container. Cargo bin. No, oh, for God's sake. Look at that. Whack, bash, smash. Can we empty this and send the cockpit on its way before before fellow my lad gives me my five minute warning? I'm even going to get the door console and be a bit cheeky. Look at that. And the regulator. Can we do this? Before he gives me my five minute warning. All right, there we go. I know I don't need to, Caution. but again, Tether supplies are low. I know the more you use, the faster that will go. Right now, we've got to remove the thruster cap, which I've got, got about five minutes left in this shift, Cutter. <laughs> don't bite off more than you can chew. Well, I will do my Remember. best. Don't worry, we're going to get this done today. Messed about a bit too long there. And I messed up quite a bit with the seats, but, you know. Let's not worry too much about that. Ooh, that's pro that might not work out too well. Oh, I think we're good. Right, we destroyed the glass there, of course, but... Ah. I need the thruster release, which I didn't get. Ah, god damn it, I've got to cut through the damn thing now. So there's a manual release for this, right? And it's there, but you can't... You see? You can extract it manually without the key, but you might get... Um, it does warn you that you might get fuel. It might lead to fuel leaks. But in this case it shouldn't, because we don't have any fuel there. Boosh. Right, I want to 
pull this away just a little bit. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. There we go. Now we can send it over there. I think we've still got time to cut this thing away. Personally. If I do it right. Which I seldom do, do I? Ah. There we go. There we go. Okay, well that should be free now, but this doesn't always go to plan, it is, there we go, all in one lump, look at that, I know I missed the door controls and things, I'm not that bothered about that, i take that one off, look, he's going to warn me about my O2, I don't even know if it's worth picking up anymore O2. I might as well, just to... Oops. Oxygen level stabilizing. Whee! Okay. I think we are good to go now. Well, let's... Let's hack that door control off. Whee! Okay. We. Warning. No tethers remaining. Well, then that had better work. <laughs> Hadn't it? <laughs> Don't think I've got time. That had better work. Oh, dear. Come on. You can do it. We're getting down to the wire. Let's put a bow on this shift. No, no. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, no. Wow, that really is down to the wire. Now. Can I do this? Can I do this? I didn't want to do this, for God's sake. Ooh. Welcome to Tethers. Go, 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 go. Oh man, I messed that up. Stop, stop, don't get pulled in. Come on. Come on, baby. Go! Pull the damn thing in. No! No, no, no. Okay, <clears throat> well, we got almost two million, so. Wow, how about that? Ran out of time? Oh, <laughs> shocking. Okay, <clears throat> we did make about another one and a half million in that shift, so. You know, we're okay. Grapple rental, cutter rental. Ugh. Yeah, that wasn't my smoothest shift yet, was it? Look, and we've still got probably another two ships, at least another two ships to go before we can go up to the next certification level. So I don't know. Like, let's look at the ship catalogue. Yeah, see? This is what I was talking about before. <clears throat> now all we've got is a bunch of these medium things, right? And that's another station hopper, which might be different than the one we did before, but the next time we come in here, those will all be different anyway. Because every time you log in, they're completely different. So those will all be completely different the next time we log in anyway, so we don't need to worry about that. But we did that. Look, we got rid of a um, station hopper. A class 2? 
It was a class two, I think, but still. It was like a toughie. A toughie? It's slightly harder, isn't it? Medium, I think it was. Medium. Or maybe it was hard. I don't know. I don't really know. But that's going to do it for today. What are we looking like on equipment? Okay. Those will make it through the next shift. Yeah, we should be okay. No problem. In the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter at Knights underscore Arcade if you're the kind of person that does Twitter. We're chatting about games that we're playing, things that have happened, mini highlight reels I sometimes put up there. I put one of Grounded up there today, um, you know, and talking about games that are upcoming, near, far, and extremely far. <laughs> uh, but... If you don't want to do Twitter, you can check out my live streams if you want to chat to us all, chat to me and my community over there. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. You can find the link to that down below in the video description, uh, as well as links to the Knights Arcade Facebook page, the Knights Arcade Patreon page, and the Knights Arcade Discord server, where you can find many of that same community if you want to join in. They're a, they're a friendly bunch, but if you don't want to do any of those things but you like this video leave a like subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future and ring the notification bell to be notified every time i post new content but until next time from night's arcade this is sleepless night saying nighty night mm -hmm.